Hello guys, Ninja JDM here, and welcome back to another For Honor video. This time I'm gonna be showing some Breach gameplay using my second name, Warlord. Uh, at the time of this game, I was actually at 39 of them, but this is taken from I think either February or March, uh, back when uh, Breach had some different rules, such as how when you're an attacker, uh, you now don't have any lives until the final phase. Whereas back in this game, you had lives the whole time. So I think basically it makes it a bit harder for the defenders to win because obviously you can't just eliminate their lives. But there's a bit of a trade off because now it's slightly easier to destroy the ram because the ram doesn't regenerate. Anyway, yeah, in this game. I was actually quite proud of it. It's a mostly about the final final phase. I was just showing the beginning for context. And as you can see in the top of the screen, they've got 28 lives left, and we're just going to start in the final phase now. Uh, usually, in this type of game, because it's just a public with a random filled lobby, a lot of the times people quit because it basically makes it looked like our teams get destroyed. But I was with some pretty good people and we managed to pull it off. So yeah, anyway, I'm just going to be basically explaining what I'm doing during the game and I'll skip past a few parts and speed it up. Um, just the boring parts, so you're just left with the real gameplay and fights. Right, now I'm just going to the rampart basically because in the final phase especially the longer you can keep it the better because the archers on this rampart basically affect how well the pikemen can get to your commander and uh, once the commander is fighting pikemen it then makes him vulnerable to uh, getting hit by the ballista so yeah I quickly won that fight then after that I went to go heal so I just skipped that part and went to go help this warden out so yeah, that's just a quick Warlord gank, I think. Just wall splatting him. And I let, let the Warden get the execution. So again, I'm just going back to the Rampart now, since I saw two people who are trying to get it. Basically, just used uh, Revenge as soon as possible there, so I can get the Guard Break and do some big damage. But... The Valkyrie obviously just used all of her feats, so that's fair enough. <laughs> Not much you can do about that. Right, so now I just skip past, so we're back in the game. And I'm just helping out our commander again. So as you can see in the background there, someone just went up to the uh, ballista, which at the moment can be quite dangerous. I knew that he was trying to use his uh, charge, I can't impaling charge, and then that was pretty good gank from then. Don't know if they did it intentional or not, but I think he hit stunned me so that the uh, centurion could knock me down. So now I'm chasing chasing the uh, Hitsukiri, basically because. At this stage, you just need to get their life down as possible. Quickly pop the fury for that attack boost. Lucky like Hitakiri just hit me out of the uh, Centurion's punch. Carried that, but luckily I'm still alive. So now I just back out quickly to try and regain my health. I'm going back now just to prevent the commander. So it looks like the Valkyrie's got quite a lot of his health down. A guard break. Oh, and I'll leave the shaman to get the execution. Again, now I'm just keeping an eye on the commander. Let's make sure that they don't get the kill when no one's looking. 
Best thing to do when uh, there's someone near the commander is just try and guard break them. It does feed revenge, but because of the commander's hit, it can almost kill most people. And then also it knocks them down so you can finish them off. The uh, Lobra got the impale. Just managed to avoid that uh, bear trap somehow. <laughs> Traded that um, shove and even knocked him out of it. That was good, he went just out of Sam at the right time. I'm actually just leaving that fight now because you can see the Valkyries really damaging our commander. Luckily he went out of stamina, so I was able to max punish him. I've just been this part up since just me killing some minions now. So yeah, they're down to 12 life, so it's not too bad, but obviously they're really low um our commander's really low even. The reason I leave this fight was just because uh obviously I wanted to make sure that no one got it. Got also our commander. I just put it down another bear trap and then quickly come back. And luckily the Hitsukiri ex executed him <laughs> just at the right time so I got back. And that also counts as an execution when you legend, so that's one more life down. I like that, they're down to eight. Again, we're all trying to heal again. Since when it's like this, it's really important not to die right at the end. Because if everyone dies on your team, then it just leaves uh, the other team to just pound on them. I'm just backing up to try and get my fire flask off. Actually, a really good time because the uh, Law of Rain just used his Juggernaut, which means that you can't just roll out of it. And the other character disappeared somewhere. I think that's him over there on the right. My teammate just managed to do. So, yeah, now we're actually in a really good position. About to force him into breaking. Bear trap. I just got a fire blast, sorry. And I put my bear trap down now. I think basically just because I've noticed they keep coming from that side. And this is where the clutch comes in. Last second. I'll just let you watch the fight. Just avoided our commander's spot. And luckily they weren't paying attention to him. That finishes it off. Of course you got a flute him after that. Like I said, most of the time in that situation you're going to lose, so that's why I uploaded the game. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know if you like this Breach game. I've got another really good Warlord gameplay like that. So I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.